I think we're living through a period of human history that in a hundred years time is going to be looked back on as the most singularly important evolution in human communications. The choice is not, are we affected by it or not? The choice is, do we embrace it? Across more than 4,000 CEOs in more than 115 countries, 40% are giving their business a 10 year time horizon unless it radically transforms. There is a three step toolkit that 90% of the time can get you 90% of the way there. This is critical for anyone in the room who's in a management or a leadership role, right? One of the most common pieces of pushback we get from our teams at all levels of seniority is we say, we want you to be innovative, and they go, I'm not allowed, there are too many rules. If there is anyone in this room who thinks that rapid, seismic, and profound change is not possible, that it is beyond the purview of you and your organization. That change is what other people do. I'm here to tell you that is fundamentally not true. This is not just, I was gonna say this is not a rant. This is clearly and self-evidently a rant. <laughs> You've got to understand the slippery scale of truthiness, right? You've got truth, then you've got positioning, then you've got spin, then you've got lies. <laughs> truth fundamentally affects outcomes. We can't PR our way out of problems we behaved ourselves into. In his first week on the job, he said, ladies and gentlemen, we had got a problem. And our problem is, our pizza tastes like shit. <laughs> this example shows together even beyond industry boundaries. Maybe 12 months after they implemented the changes, the number of errors in transition dropped from 90% to 0%. They literally solved the problem. If the surgeons can learn from the mechanics, imagine how much we can learn from each other. If we all knew what we all knew, we'd just be unstoppable, right? I would put it to you that the single greatest enabler of individual innovation is our willingness to challenge assumptions. I would argue from a change perspective, we need to make the impact of our behavior on other people around us the one and only gold standard by which we be our behavior. John Shah once said, the future is not a place we're going, the future is a place we are creating. It tells us the single most important thing that I've learned in 15 years of running large-scale change programs with everything from five-year-olds to the largest organizations in the world. It tells us that organizations don't change, people do.